handshake. Handshake? Handshake. What's driven us to a handshake? Oh, I'm sorry. I panicked. Okay. Hug? Yeah. Nailed it. Good to see you. You look really smart. Thank you so much. Well, I know what you are like. You wear great clothes and I walk in wearing a jumper and an old pair of jeans. So today... You're trying your best and I appreciate that. You know, one of these days I'll actually be professional. Okay, so, is everything okay? And I ask this because Damsel strikes me as a film where you're doing immersion therapy. Mm. You're screaming. Mm -hmm. You're by yourself all day. Mm -hmm. You're being yeeted down ravines. Yes. Loads of creepy people in creepy masks. Mm -hmm. Is this just, is everything all right? Well, um, thank, thank you for asking. Um, yes, everything's fine. I'm thriving. It's like boot camp. Yeah. You know, just kind of threw me in the deep end and I actually swam. <laughs> is swam a word? Or yeah, is it sure. swam? It's swam. It's swam? It is swam. It's swam. Swam. We're getting nods. I'm panicking again. Your ears you are getting very red. Am I? Because it's swam, 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 swam. I feel like this is a, a real debate, though. Anyways, let's just go over it. Let's move on. And you're also doing it in a corset for the most part. Mm -hmm. And again, you are by yourself. You can pick any movie you want to do, and this is your one. Is it because you essentially get to get your own giant sword? That and also that that and also There's one other reason why you did the film. One of the reasons why I did the film is because I get to do just to play with like a sword is so cool. Completely. Two, because I've never done anything like this before and I wanted to push myself. Mm. See if I was capable of it. And you get to go to Portugal and look at gorgeous vineyards. Well, I didn't know that when going into it because they kept switching the location. We didn't know where we were going to film, but ended up being Portugal, which is absolutely unbelievable. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, best vacay ever. I have notes. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily want to be chucked down a ravine, but that's... Yeah, but kind of fun. Kind of. My version of fun. My version of fun. I was, as you do, preparing for this interview by watching a lot of your old interviews. Oh, gosh. And I've started noticing how many people ask you the same questions over and over. Mm. You get stuff like, what's your favourite emoji? Do you know what, though? Go on. I don't mind those questions. Do you not? I, the more fun, the better. Okay. So when people are at, like, did you really shave your hair off? Mm -hmm. What was it like working with dragons? I'm like... Who'd win in a fight between you and a dragon? No, 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 no. Who'd win in a fight, Vecna or a dragon? That's what I'm getting a lot right now. And I'm just like... My favourite emoji. My favourite emoji. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. And to answer that, because you didn't ask me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Favourite emoji is the, right now, uh -huh. the dragon emoji. Nice. I'm using it a lot. Very good. Uh, I did discover that your biggest ick is men holding umbrellas. Right. And it's stuck with me, and I need to know why. My, because <laughs> there's something about it that just feels really pathetic. I don't really know. Like, I mean, I tr I'm tr I try to get on board with it. I did try, <laughs> but I, I could. And do you know what? I have a new one. Go on. This morning, I was on a flight with my fiance, mm -hmm. and he got a nosebleed. And I got the ick. <laughs> it's so cruel. Do you know why? One, because he just got a nosebleed like mm. at the most inconvenient time we just landed the seatbelt sign was still on he's like blood he's doing an 11 I'm like calm down two he's acting as if it's painful bless him and I'm like it's not painful and he's like mm, mm. and I'm like it's not painful though it's not painful I do it professionally it's giving it's giving ick mm -hmm. and that's my new and um, that's my new one so when I got in the car after, we just hadn't, we didn't speak to each other. And I looked at him and I said, that's my new ick. And he burst out laughing. Um, so that's my new favorite thing. You'll have to make a plan to never have a nosebleed again. He gets them really often. Oh and I've never God. said that before, but I don't know why. I think I, I woke up after five hours of sleeping and I just thought, how inconvenient. <laughs> There'll be paparazzi at the gate. Please don't just, do this yeah, to me. It's just like blood streaming from your nose. What a guy. I know. 
Can I ask you about the biggest, most stressful scenes you've ever had to shoot in your career? Are there no. scenes? <laughs> no, you can go now. Bye. <laughs> No, let's not talk about the most stressful scenes no. of my whole career. I want to ask because off the back of this movie, I'm thinking you do this stuff and then afterwards go, I did that to challenge myself and I'm really proud. Yeah. Do you look back and there are ones, I guess, in Stranger Things, maybe in Earl Holmes, where you go, yeah, I'm really proud of myself for that one. That was that was tough and I nailed it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Yeah, because you have to. You know, I used to not do that, but now after doing a lot of therapy and self-improvement, I have to give myself grace and I have to give myself props yeah. when it's due. Completely. So I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself in many facets in my life. Proud that, you know, I take care of dogs. I'm proud that I'm a good fiance. I'm, I'm a good daughter. I have to give myself grace and where I, you know, deserve. And so in some cases, when I look back on certain things, I go, oh, that was a good scene. Like the day you spent screaming, I'm sure, in the ADR booth mm. for all the different things you do. <laughs> I keep noticing that you must spend days at a time just screaming. That is probably the le my least favorite part of post-production is just ADR because most of my jobs require screaming and then Enola doesn't but requires a lot of talking. Ah, ah. Now, where to begin? And it's just like a lot of long words. It's very hard. ADR is very hard. Just by yourself, just raging. Screaming. Screaming. <laughs> Do you have a movie cliche, and I say this with love, that you'd love to do that you haven't been able to do yet? So for example, people want to walk away from an explosion looking really cool, mm. or chuck water in someone's face in anger. Oh. Yes, please. What springs to mind? That's me? a really good question. Nobody's ever asked me that. Um... I want to do a follow that car, get into a cab, and just say, punch it, follow that car. I love that. Yeah. I, want to, I want a kiss in the rain. <gasps> I want to do a scene in the pouring rain professing my love to someone. I just, do you know what I mean? You want a four weddings? Yes. And the other day it was raining in New York and my fiance Jake starts like professing his love to me like as if he's acting. He's like, it's always been you. And I was like, I actually really want to do this. I think I really want to do this. I know that I'd probably like never work again, mm -hmm. but I think it's worth it. Oh, I love him for that. Yeah, That's me too, cute. which is why I'm with him. He just makes me crack up because I was miserable in the New York rain and he just starts pretty, yeah, he's, yeah, it's always been you. The person standing opposite me now in the rain. Is it still raining? I hadn't noticed. I also saw you quote, and I've heard you quote, Devil Wears Prada mm. a couple of times, and it made me think this horrible thought. Oh, God. If they were to do a remake or a sequel. I'll play Meryl Streep, yeah. Sold. Yeah. And you have no style or a sense of fashion. Well, um, I think that depends on what you're... No, no. That wasn't a question. That's fine. The youngest editor of a Vogue-like magazine ever. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're in. I'm in. Done. That will be headlines everywhere. You know that. I know. Well played. And this is a question that Greg James, you know him, is very keen for me to ask. Because last time you spoke with that man, you told him about your amazing menagerie, including two tortoises. A quick animal register, please. Yep. Still four dogs? No. Uh, eight dogs now. Eight dogs. So just change my records here. Yep. Eight dogs. Mm -hmm. Two cats? Four cats. Four cats. Okay, you've doubled the dogs and the cats. Yeah. All right. Two tortoises. N no, no tortoises anymore. No. No, I gave them to a classroom. And he's very keen to find out where the tortoises now are. And he tells me he put out a call on a Atlanta radio station. He asked Maisie Peters to do a shout out while she was in Atlanta. He's very keen to find out where the tortoises are. Could you tell him? I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, Millie. I have no idea. That's not to say I don't care, but I do think they're in a rural elementary school in Georgia somewhere. Do I think they're okay? Yes. I think they're eating strawberries and being picked up by little grubby eight-year-old hands. I think they're fine. And that's a good life? That is just the level of respect that question deserved. I think so. And I... I'm so happy for you. I think so. Thank you. Thank you. My last question is one that won't work on the radio, but I love asking it, and we know each other, and it's been many a year that we've been talking, but 
Could you show me what your go-to face is to ruin a photograph? Oh, a Ricky Gervais. No, you can't even do it. You don't even have a double chin. Oh, stop it. You're giving no double chin. No, mine is always the double chin. Just, and I pet it. <laughs> Slowly. There we go. And that's the tea. I cannot wait to see the screenshots of that. It's going to be put everywhere next to Millie Bobby Brown's accents changed. It's going to just be me. That's the question you get a million times a day. Yeah. I What's know. the deal with your accent? I don't know. Look at this. <laughs> Lily, it's always a pleasure. My eyes have leaked with tears yes. uh, a few times, so well done. Thank you. Mm. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.